Hey there, my name is Andy and this is Namaste at Home Yoga. Um, today's practice is just going to be a fairly general, um, more on the beginner side of flow. So uh, if you're joining me, go ahead, grab your mat, take a seat, and we'll get tuned in to get started. Starting from the bottom up, really coming into our present moment today, I want you to feel your sit bones grounded in your mat into the floor. From that solid base, feel that spine start to grow tall up out of it. Noticing the breath as it moves in and out through the body. How the hips settle, or maybe they hold a little bit, just noticing that. Noticing if the belly has a little bit of rise and fall or expansion with the breath. Maybe feeling that gentle expansion and contraction of the rib cage. Allowing the shoulders to melt down away from the ears so the chest is proud. Helping the spine to stay long. Finding a slight tuck of the chin. So that breath flows so beautifully, so easily in and out as it fills that belly and chest, pours back out. I invite you to bring a word or phrase maybe to your mind that you would like to keep with you during practice today whether it's something along the lines of breath or flow, ease, strength, balance, or anything else that's really calling to you in a positive way today. You can bring the hands through center, chin to chest. Coming back, maybe opening those eyes if they're closed, Find your way back up to our tall spine. Just a little um, gentle warm up in our seated position here. Let's find an inhale to grow tall. As we exhale, right ear is going to sink down towards the right shoulder. You're resting for a couple of breaths. If you need a little bit more, maybe left fingertips come down towards the left side of the mat. Start to walk away, lengthening through that side. With an inhale, we'll float back through center. Exhale, left ear comes to left shoulder. And again, the option of extension by extending the right arm, maybe walking the right fingertips away from you on the mat. And inhale brings us back through center. Exhale, right hand finds that left knee. Left hand can just come behind you like a bit of a kickstand. Finding a gentle twist. Not really pulling into this one hard, but finding a little bit of rotation. Gaze over towards the left wall. Keeping that deep breath even with our twist. And exhale brings us through center. Inhale to get tall. Exhaling twist. The left hand finds that right knee. Your right hand is your kickstand now. Not so much holding you up as it is encouraging that tall spine. Coming back to the breath.
And one more just like that. Exhaling back through center. Let's find our way to our tabletop, coming to hands and knees. Hands rest under the shoulders, knees resting under hips, and coming into our cat cow. We'll drop the belly as we inhale, lifting head, chest, and hips, finding expansion. Exhaling, press down through hands and knees, round. Inhale, head, chest, and hips. Exhaling, round. Let's go through three more of those. Stay really filling up every moment, every second of that inhale or exhale with a little bit of movement. There's no rush as we're going here. I'll encourage you to go at your own pace. If it's a little bit faster than me and you get a bonus cat cow in, that's all right. If you're taking your time a little bit more, no worries, we'll always find a spot to catch up. Beautiful. As you finish, find your way back to a neutral spine. Feel the crown of the head reaching forward. So the spine is still long here. Keeping the knees hip distance, or maybe we walk them out mat width. Find an exhale, hips sink back to heels, child's pose, allowing the chest to melt forward and down. Forehead comes to rest. It might be on the mat, it might be on stacked hands. To know that this is a nice resting place, a good calming spot to come to if you need a bit of a change of pace or a little bit more of a rest as we make our way through practice. Please feel free to come back here anytime or any other um, position that you find restful. Finding some activity here now, let's walk the hands away from you a little bit. Press down through all of the fingers, almost like you're going to tent your hands off the ground. Use the exhales and that pressure of the hands to help sink the hips a bit closer to heels. Allowing the neck to stay long as the shoulder blades make their way down your back. Let's inhale, move through tabletop. Find your way into a downward dog. Finding that inverted V position. As it's our first one of the practice, maybe we take a moment to weight shift side to side or pedal things out a little bit. And over the next couple of breaths, we'll start to walk our way forward to the top of our mat, meeting in a forward fold. Feet can come to rest about hip distance, allowing the upper body, head, neck, shoulders, arms, just to let go, ribs all here. Take as much of a bend to the knees as you need. Maybe feeling some stretch sensation, but not so much that it disrupts our breathing pattern. Take the next couple of breaths here to make your way back up. We're going to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, slower than you think you should. Feeling every joint stacking over top of the previous one. And the ankles underneath the knees, knees under hips, hips under shoulders, and the head needs to be placed on top of the rest. Open those palms up, find an inhale as we sweep the arms open. Exhale, hands float through center. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, sit those hips back, finding a um, Finding a chair, hands resting in prayer in center. Allow that spine to stay long. 
Let's start to walk the weight back in towards the heels, so toes are light. Core stays strong so that the low ribs stay tucked in. Sometimes they like to flare out on us, so we'll keep them contained. Allowing the tailbone to drop a little bit towards the earth. And then use that pressure of the palms to help broaden the chest and the shoulders back and down for two more breaths. Warming those legs up a little bit. On that next exhale, let it go forward, fold. Finding an inhale to a halfway lift, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, let's plant the hands, step the right foot back on your mat, and drop that heel, turn up the toes about 45 degrees. Come on up when you're ready. We're set up for warrior one here, so we're gonna keep hands low to start. Taking a moment to line up the hips so they face the front of the mat. Finding a lunge into our left knee. Hands can stay here where they make their way through center, maybe overhead. Think about squeezing through the glutes a little bit, get active with the legs to help draw the right hip forward. Left hip comes back. Feeling that strength bottom up through your feet, pressing into the mat, up the legs, through your core, fueled with breath, warrior one. With an inhale, we're gonna straighten our front leg. You can release the arms down alongside the body, grow tall, and over the next few breaths, start to hinge forward at the hips leaning over the front leg. Might be a little bit of a lean, might be a lot, but allow the hands to rest wherever they feel comfortable. That may be on the leg, catching the hips. Careful not to fully lock that front knee straight. We're gonna keep a micro bend just to help protect the joint. Feeling sensation through the back of the hamstring, back of the calf. Wherever um, you're noticing sensation come up, breathing into those spots. Next exhale, let's bend down, frame the foot, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, find your half lift. Exhale, hands pull out, left foot comes back this time, finding that 45 degree angle at the foot. And the inhale lifts the chest, setting up for warrior one on our second side. Finding our way from the ground up, let's settle in to a little bit of a lunge in your right knee. Square off those hips, left hip drawing forward. Tailbone drops towards the mat, and hands come to rest in a spot that suits you. Get strong in your breath here. Fill that belly, fill the chest. Let it pour out chest and belly. Notice if you're wanting to grip down through the toes a little bit, if you're shifting towards one side or another. Get strong through that core, through that central trunk in the body, so important for helping to stabilize us, keep us balanced. Wonderful, find an inhale, straightening your front leg. Exhale, release the arms to wherever you feel comfortable. And coming into pyramid, we'll start to hinge forward at the hips, searching for that sensation in the back of the right leg. Let's come back to that gentle micro bend of the right knee. Settling into this posture wherever you need to be. If you're losing some of that sensation, again, coming back to squaring the hips, right hip drawing back, left pressing forward. Strong in that breath, always, always.
Next, exhale, let's go ahead, bend that knee, step forward, forward fold. Grabbing onto the elbows, give yourself a little bit of a sway side to side. Noticing where we started to open up with those hamstring stretches in pyramid. Where the legs are starting to get warm. Release those hands down for your inhale to your half lift. Exhale, let the hand step back, downward dog. Spread your fingers wide. Allow a bit of a bend to the knees to help those hips sit a little higher. Allowing the chest to sink towards the thighs. With an inhale, let's send our right leg up high. High as you can here, really strong in our structure in that inverted V shape, three-legged dog. And then we're gonna bring that forward, step outside of your right hand so the knee stacks over the ankle. For today, we're gonna draw our back knee, untuck the toes and start to draw the chest forward. It's easy to let our shoulders around in here. So think about your proud chest coming through. This doesn't feel so great. You can always grab a cushion if you have one near, or maybe blocks, just to come up a little bit higher. Let that intensity dial back a bit. From here, I'll invite you to stay where you are if that feels good, or find an inhale to lift that right arm up and past the right knee. A little bit of a twist can challenge the balance a bit by lifting the gaze past the fingertips. Beautiful. And exhale, let's hands find the mat once more if they're lifted. We'll find our way back to a downward dog. Getting set for our second side, left leg is going to inhale, lift. Finding our three-legged dog first, still allowing that chest to get heavy. Grounded through the foot, grounded through all of the fingers. Nice work, go ahead, step your foot outside of the left hand. Drop the back knee, untucking our toes. Just double checking that alignment again, knee over ankle. And then coming back to that proud chest, the long spine, finding lightness or lift, length. Think of those great L's with our inhale. Take a couple of breaths here, wherever you've settled. And then stay and enjoy that or move through a little bit of a twist, planting that right hand down. This time the left arm is opening up towards the sky. Feeling that length, that lift, whether it's through the chest or through the crown of the head, through the fingertips, and hear all of those. Exhaling, we'll bring our hands back to the mat. Find your way back to your down dog. Noticing how we're feeling in this posture compared to our first down dog of a practice. Are things starting to get fatigued? Are we starting to feel some openness? Maybe taking a moment to come back to your breath or back to your word from the start of class, back to your focus. You can walk the hands back towards the feet. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Next couple of breaths 
You're rolling back up once more. Take your slow, take it easy. Vertebrae by vertebrae, stacking joints. Head comes up last. Taking Tadasana or mountain pose once we reach the top. Just allowing that spine to be so tall. Opening the palms up towards the front of the mat. Soaking in some of that work we've done, some of the heat we've started to create in the body. Wonderful. Well, let's bring the feet in a little bit closer together. Inhale, let's sweeping arms overhead. Interlace fingers and release your index fingers. Growing tall with your inhale as you exhale, reaching up and over towards the right side of the room. Finding a bit of a crescent shape here. Starting bottom to top again, let's check in with the feet. Are we swaying towards one side or the other? Can we center our balance there? Legs and core engaged. Finding length through our left side without really crunching that right side over. We're just finding that bit of lateral flexion. Nice, inhale, come back through center. Exhale, bring the hands down for a sec. If you like to cross the right thumb over top of left, take the other grip, whatever the opposite is for you. Release the index fingers once more as we inhale, grow tall. Exhale, reaching up and over towards the left side of the room. Notice where the balance sits on this side compared to the other. Where we want to sway. That breath is still so smooth. Let's make that next one even deeper. You got it. Finding that next inhale to float you through center. Exhale, we'll release and catch the hips. Moving into tree, we'll shift over to the left foot. Right knee is going to open up towards the side. Toes can stay touching on the mat as we slide the heel in to tap the left leg. We may stay here. Here we start to move a little bit, lifting the foot sole to the inner calf, maybe the upper inner thigh. I'll challenge you to do that lift without use of the hand. See if we can do it with the leg strength on its own. And then have some fun with our arms. Do they come through center? The branches stretch out wide, up tall. Take two more breaths. Feeling your roots growing out of your foot, down into your mat. And next, inhale can float you back through center. Exhale, releasing down to your mat once more as we make our way to our second set. Weight shift to your right foot. Left knee is turning out. Place the heel or place the foot wherever it feels good. It feels like a challenge to land today. Find yourself growing roots down from your foot, growing tall through that leg. And then the arms are yours, however you would like them to be. No stress if you're wobbly or shaky or you fall over, that'll happen. Beautiful thing about these trees is we can come back up. <laughs> Let's take one more solid breath here. Fill it up. And pouring it out. 
and inhale can bring you through center exhaling will release and however you'd like to find your way down to a comfortable seat we'll bring our right foot sole in towards the left leg to start almost like finding our tree legs again but bringing that heel as close to you as feels comfortable Think about flexing your left toes back towards you, finding some activity in that leg as we inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale to fold, reaching forward. Allowing yourself to grab onto wherever is available, whether it's somewhere along the mat, or if you'd prefer to rest arms down to the mat itself. I feel like I mixed my words up a little bit there, so grabbing onto the leg or the mat, whatever suits you here. And toes are still flexing back at you. Finding that space once more through the back of the leg. And an inhale brings you back up. Go ahead and release, we'll just switch sides here. The left foot sole finds its way up on that right inner thigh. Belly button faces that big toe on the right foot. Flex it back towards you, get things active through that leg. <sighs> With an inhale, we sweep. Exhale, we fold. Allowing yourself to reach and land somewhere wherever. Noticing the sensations as they come up. Listening to the body if it's saying this is great, I love it. Maybe this is a little much. Or maybe the breath allows us to go a little deeper. But take your time. No rush in the grand scheme of things. And inhale can bring you back up. Let's bring foot soles to the mat about hip distance apart. Let your knees fall open to side. Setting up for probably one of my favorites, um, turtle or tortoise. It's not my best, not my most comfortable, and I think that's why it's one of my favorites. It challenges me always in a different way. It's different every time I do it. Allow your sit bones to be grounded in your mat. Find a tall spine to inhale. As you exhale, we're just going to start to draw the chest forward. Maybe we stay here. Or if it's available, we'll allow yourself to melt or the chin can tuck towards the chest. Forehead comes down towards the mat. Shoulders may roll forward. And then it's an option to leave the arms resting. Or maybe they tuck underneath the calves. This one can be quite intense a lot of different areas so breathe into them. It's always the most important part if you're finding that you, you can't breathe, you can't find that smooth breath. Adjust, modify your posture so that it fits your body. None of these have like an absolutely perfect way for everyone and every body to do them because every body is so different. Sink in two breaths. And take your time, maybe sneaking the hands out from under the legs if they're there, making your way back up. Find your tall spine, and if the hips feel good with it, add a little windshield wiper out of the knees side to side. From here, you can grab onto a leg to assist if you'd like. Find your way onto your back. 
We're gonna cross our right ankle over that left knee, setting up for our figure four. You might stay here for today. We're finding an inhale, we'll lift the legs towards you so you can grab behind that hamstring. I like to say lifting legs towards you rather than reaching for them because I want to encourage the back body to stay heavy here, that upper back, neck to stay relaxed, support it, allowing the strength of the arms to help squeeze that, to squeeze the legs in towards us. Release any grips you might have, and crossing the legs, finding your second side, the left ankle crossing over the right knee, staying as you are here, or inhale to lift legs to you, grabbing behind, just settle in. Sometimes easier said than done, but let's see where else we can release. Maybe softening the gaze or allowing the eyes to close. Gently parting the teeth, releasing some tension in the jaw. Next exhale, shoulders get a little heavier. Beautiful work. Next exhale here, releases the hands, releases the legs, send them out long, send the arms overhead for a nice big full body stretch, maybe a yawn if you need it. And give yourself a big tuck in, big squeeze. Maybe we draw that forehead into the knees, rinsing out the lungs, emptying them all the way, make room for fresh air. And then you can find your way over one side or the other. Coming back up to your seat from the start of our practice. Settling in. Working our way up to be grounded, but also light through the upper body as we grow tall. Eyes can close for the next couple of breaths. As we return to our focus once more, take the best breaths of our practice, the fullest, the smoothest. If it feels good, let's sigh it out. Inhale to really fill up belly and chest. Big exhale out the mouth. <sighs> Hands can find their way through center. Chin to chest. Fluttering the eyes open. And come back to your space, back to the present moment. I hope you enjoyed that practice. I really enjoyed going through it with you. Um, thank you so much for joining me and the guest appearances of my <laughs> cat, Nev. We'll hope to see you again soon. Namaste.